Hello two birds. Um, here we are again. Uh, I've just spent two days polishing the hell out of the um, little Ariba there. Um, let's see if I can show you. We, um, we've gone once round the actual top. I had to wet flat it first of all with 1200 wet and dry. This is say like the uh, the heavy bit of polishing I've done really. So basically I went round it with real heavy duty uh, polishing wheel on the, uh, I'll take you a show. That's what I use, that sort of style for it. Um, but a heavier one than that to begin with, with, uh, with the brown sort of compound and then um, after that then I've gone over then with blue compound on the wheel that I just showed you uh, two days basically uh, up to this sort of stage uh, not a lot of feeling left in my arms next stage is going to have to be something of like a bit of a finisher really It's a bit mad because you can still sort of more or less fault it, but once you do the rest, say by hand or some sort of salvo, be a very different kettle of fish. All the bottom matches all the bottom there, and the bottom I've gone over that as well. So, like I say, the next bit of polishing is going to be like the the very last bit of mirror mirror finish that I'll be getting on it. Add some aggro with the rear panel. The rear bottom panel is is a uh, new aluminium, uh, but the only thing I found was it was almost there was like a some sort of tarnish on it. So I had to wet flat it twice, and then it started polishing up all right. Uh, I'm not going to play about sort of polishing till next week again. Now so it's bashed me up a little bit. So I just need a couple of days away from it get me head back in gear Where it's a little bit shinier than what it's uh, ever been in its life. The roof really suits it now in that colour. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. Has gone round with a polisher as well, and I changed it to a different polisher so as it go right up in that groove. So she's nice and blingy now, and even on this end lip here, uh, if I go over that with a rag, that come up like spanking. But as you can tell, as you're sort of hitting it, as you go along with the buffer, bringing it right up. Really has come out amazing compared to where it was. A lot, a lot of work, but as it gets better and better, you just, you can't help but just crack on and enjoy it really. But it has been knackering. The door, done a bit of towing and kneeling with the hinges. Did I tell you about my hinges? Look at those darlings. Mm -hmm. Nice little tight gap now. Oh, it is good showing you this and you can just see all the reflection. Hello! Polishy, polishy! Oh, that is going to really look good when that's all fitted out. On the bottom, you see where the little holes are there. I haven't bothered trying to polish underneath that because we've got those um, shields that go on in front. Uh, we've really been managed to start getting all the paint off of that front nose cone as well. 
I just put it on there. Uh, a little bit more work there to do, but nothing compared to what it was. That. There's a couple of little dents on it as well. I'll just roll them dents out. And then I'll be polishing that up as well, so as it'll match the rest of it. But go back, look at that. Really, really chuff. That's going to look absolutely mental. Well, that's me signing off for a moment. Uh, hope you're loving it. Uh, feels good to be getting somewhere with it, but I am knackered. So off I go. Laters.